What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jabari Showtime. I'm here again, back again with yet another video. First and foremost, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in and tapping in with me right now. But before we go any further, please like and hit that subscribe button for me as well. Also, you know, feel free to comment, give me some feedback, and also share. Share this video. Alright? In this video in particular, I would like to talk about Kid Cudi. Um, Kid Cudi, rap artist. Um, Kid Cudi been around for quite some time now. Uh, and I'd like to talk about this um, his recent appearance. Um, as of recently, uh, the CFDA fashion awards show took place and Kid Cudi was in attendance and Kid Cudi's outfit was very bizarre uh, Kid Cudi shows up you know wearing a dress um, some feminine attire and you know this it kind of just raised it kind of just raised a, you know a flag for me um because the person who Kid Cudi, who pretty much is, you know, pretty much portrayed himself to be over the past year or so, and as of recently, it just seems very strange because this isn't the Kid Cudi we've known to be throughout the years, right? You know, Kid Cudi has always been the kind of artist in his music and the kind of person to always, you know, be free of expression, right? And it seems like now that, I don't know, I, I still think he still puts out good music. His last album was pretty good. The one that he dropped towards the end of 2020, that, one, that was pretty good, forget the name of it. But, you know, back to the subject matter at hand, I, the way Kid Cudi is um, Making the narrative that, you know, freeing yourself and freeing your mind, you know, has something to correlate with, you know, painting your nails and, you know, putting on a dress. And I, I, I disagree with that. And right now it's in the month of, we are in the month of November and it is a men's mental health awareness month, I believe. And if you know about Kid Cudi, you know that Kid Cudi has dealt with um, thoughts of committing suicide, right? He's always talked about it throughout his career. Um, he's talked about it, you know, um, that he experienced those times when he was younger. Maybe sometime, some point at the midst of his music career. I'm not quite sure about that. But, you know, he talks about um, his depression and his thoughts of, you know, committing suicide and things of that nature. Um, also, his... Um, drug habits and drug problems and things like that and how other artists um, from the past and that came before him of even other music genres you know that inspired him um, that have de dealt with uh, similar situations um, dealing with depression and mental health um, bad you know drug habits and things of that nature he's you know he's spoken about this and I remember earlier this year, which it was um, during uh, mental health, not mental health, but uh, Suicide Awareness Week, Kid Cudi makes an appearance on Saturday Night Live. He makes an appearance on Saturday Night Live and he performs, right? And he performs wearing a dress. Now, we all know that this dress, Kid Cudi decided to wear this attire as to pay homage to one of his favorite um, music artists of all time and rock legend, um, Kurt Cobain, right? Because Kurt Cobain um, once wore the dress. Um, it's very similar to what Kid Cudi wore on Saturday Night Live. And that's just his way of paying, paying homage and respect. And I kind of disagree. I, I disagree with this, but I understand this is way of, this is Kid Cudi's way of uh, paying respect and homage, right? And if you do know the backstory of Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain, 
you know, he committed suicide, right? He was going through phases in and out of depression and dealing with hard drugs and things like that. Um, he was getting help. He wasn't a, his wife and family did take him into a re rehabilitation um, center. However, he did leave and he persuaded his friend to buy him a gun. And then from there, he went back to his home. He left a suicidal note and he committed suicide from there, All right? And also, if you are a Kid Cudi fan, you know that Kid Cudi did do a sample of Kurt Cobain's Burn the Rain song on an album that he did, uh, a joint album with uh, Kanye West on a song called Cuddy Montage, right? And Montage um, is the name of, I think, one of Kurt Cobain's like, documentaries. Basically, pretty much just a documentary of the last, um, you know, basically just a, a documentary of Kurt Cobain's, you know, last, you know, remaining years of his life and things like that. Or, you know, throughout his music career. And, you know, Kid Cudi did a remix to the song and to the sample, to the beat, the same beat of Burn the Rain. Right? But the, the point that I want to exercise the most is when Kurt Cobain wore that um, dress, he, he kind of wore it in more of a, a rock style fashion. Right? He has a, you know, a t-shirt on underneath it. You know, Kid Cudi's wearing it, you know, bare chest bare arms right and even that you know talking about you know suicide you know committing suicide and Kid Cudi's as an artist using this platform to bring awareness to it right well this isn't the first time we've seen Kid Cudi perform on live television and also bring awareness to suicide right if we rewind back to the Arsenio Hall show, where Kid Cudi, um, you know, he's uh, talking to Arsenio Hall, and he's basically to have a sit-down conversation, very open dialogue, very transparent, and Kid Cudi expresses, you know, that, hey, you know, I had thoughts of suicide, um, I had, you know, I had to deal with depression and things like that, and, you know, I've had also had very bad drug habits, you know, that um, that that was coexisting with that um, depression and suicidal thoughts, right? And also, Kid Cudi performed that day on a, on the Arsenio Hall show. So my thing is that when it comes to the Saturday Night Live gig, it wasn't our first time seeing Kid Cudi perform on that scale before, as well as bring awareness to suicidal um, awareness as well, right? But just so happened that time, he, he was wearing a dress. And we look at it now, we look at Kid Cudi now, making this appearance at the CFDA Fashion Awards show, and he's wearing a, a, another wedding dress. Right, and it's just like at this point in time where you know this the feminization of of men is just being so so accepted to the point where it's like the ability to express yourself and ability to be free minded and free spirited is to to express it in, in a feminine manner and I, just, I, I disagree with that I disagree with that you know not that I have uh, any uh, problems with anybody expressing themselves in that way but it's like you know Kid Cudi is a 37 year old man you know with a daughter right this isn't you know some young man that's coming out coming out of the closet at 18 years old, you know? This isn't a, you know, somebody that's in their mid-20s that's coming out of the closet. This is a, a 37-year-old man pushing 40 
with the daughter deep into his music career coming out of the closet or find uh, some for some whatever reason you know finding himself to start to express himself in a different manner in a different capacity I just find some of that to be pretty strange you know you know we haven't always known Kid Cudi to be this person we just haven't and I really just find it strange well y'all can give me y'all feedback on that um, also make sure y'all please like comment and subscribe as well and I'm out peace Hey, what's going on YouTube and everybody? I would like to thank y'all for watching this video right here. And if you haven't yet already, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And for more content like this, please click the links below. Also, please follow me on every social media platform at Jabari Showtime and my business page as well, at One Supreme Mike. Let's get it.